Gravity is negative 32 feet per second squared. I'm going to get to this position formula. You first have to realize that our initial position we're going to claim is zero. And we're also going to start off with our initial velocity being zero to help us out. We're going to need these two pieces of info. OK. First of all, you need to understand that a of t is equal to the derivative of v of t. So if I want to go from a of t to v of t, I'm working from a to v to s. Do you understand the position function? a of t is equal to the second derivative of the position function. It's kind of weird. Basically, we want to go from here to here. So we've got to work our way down integrating twice. So let's set up an integral. The integral of negative 32 dt. I want to integrate this. Okay, Acceleration is equal to this. I'm going to integrate this. So work my way down. What's the integral of that going to be? Well, the integral of this is going to be negative 32 t plus c. And doesn't that equal, sorry, isn't this my velocity function? Sorry, my velocity function is equal to the integral of my derivative function. So my velocity is equal to negative 32t plus c. Now, how do I find c? Because if I want to go one more farther down to s, I need to find c. Well, what we set up here, didn't we say that v0 is 0? Zero? So if v0, isn't this 0? Can't I do that? OK. So the initial velocity. Actually, I can't do that. There's a reason. I need to explain this later. V of 0, the initial velocity is when the, vel the, the is that when time is 0. I, rest I stated this kind of weird. The initial velocity is when time is 0. Um, so if we plug in 0 here, what you're going to figure out is kind of a twist here. I kind of messed up. Because uh, V of 0 is equal to C. Is that OK? I, I, I Actually, thinking back, could I say my initial velocity is actually 0? Actually, I can't. Because if I'm throwing it, isn't my initial velocity like 5 or 6 or 7? But can I say that at v of 0, my time is 0? Is that OK? So this would actually be at v of 0, t equals 0. Is that OK? At v of 0, t is 0. Is that OK? At s of 0, do you understand that t is 0? So going back to this, at v of 0, my time is 0, so I got c equals v of 0. So anyways, what this is all saying is v of t is now equal to negative 32t plus v of 0. Velocity function is equal to negative 32t plus v0. OK. If I want my position, if I want to find my position function, what you're going to do is you're going to integrate this. So I'm going to integrate this to get to my velocity function. No, my position function. So s of t is going to be negative 32 t squared divided by 2 plus t v of 0, or v of 0 t. I should have probably read it the other way, plus c. So 
If we rewrite this, we now have s of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v zero t plus c. Does this look a lot like this? Yeah. Now the last thing is, remember here, s of zero is when time is zero. Remember I kind of wrote it messed up, but s of zero is when time is zero, v of zero is in time of zero. So, if I want to find, how do I say this? Uh, I'm going to plug in zero for t. Okay, if I plug zero for t, what's my output called? Isn't that s of zero? If I put zero in for team t, isn't my output going to be s of zero? So isn't aren't those all zeros? So what you realize is c equals s of zero. So my answer. We started with this, we now have that match because C is F of zero. When time is zero, C is the initial position. There's the formula.